Hey guys, welcome to the California Ant Keeper channel. Today we'll be adding two new colonies to my collection. This first queen had workers in only three weeks. Solenopsis Xyloni, the fire ant. And as you can see, her first batch of workers was not small. My daughter, the little ant keeper, actually found this queen in her driveway, and I immediately put it in a mini hearth. They are already eating about five fruit flies a day, and this is the colony after four weeks. If you are new to ant keeping, please stay away from this species because their numbers grow so fast and it can get out of control very quickly. I've kept a lot of ants and even this colony is surprising me at how fast it's growing. I've always been hesitant on keeping this species, but now I have a lot of practice keeping large colonies that can get out of control, so I think I'm willing to take them on now. About a month from now, this colony will probably be about quadruple what it is now. The first workers are very small right now. But as the colony gets older and matures, the workers will get much larger. It's really hard to overfeed the species because they eat so much protein. They just eat and eat and eat all day. I'm excited to now have this colony on the channel and we'll move on to the next colony now which is a very very rare ant. And I'm kind of disappointed because the camera and the lighting, they just weren't working with me the day I was trying to film them. So I present to you Myrmacostus wheelary, another honeypot ant. This queen was caught very close to my house, and it amazes me because I've never seen a wild colony of these in the area. Even if you google Myrmacostus willeri, you'll find very limited resources on the internet or any little information about them. So I'm so excited that this colony is doing so well, especially after its first workers. They seem to be taking off. I can't wait for this colony to start having repletes that are hanging from the ceiling, because this species is so rare. I dug up two Myrmacostas willeri queens the day I found her, and only one survived. But this colony seems to be doing the best out of all the honeypot ant species I have at the moment. Her gaster is already full of nectar, and that's a very good sign, because it shows that the workers are already foraging for food and bringing it back to her. Another cool thing about this species of honeypot is it's only found in California. Other species of honeypot can be found in Arizona and Texas as well, but this one's only found in California. If you happen to find any honeypot queens, I really recommend that you incubate them until first workers and even after because that's how these colonies are doing so good this year. This is the first year I've had the incubator and it's been the first year I've been able to found honeypots. These first workers are doing all the work now and that gives the queen a much needed break from all the work she was doing the months prior to them hatching. I've also noticed that her wing scars are very pronounced, probably because of her color. That's all for these two colonies, but I wanted to give you guys a little update on another Myrmacostis colony I have, Myrmacostis testaceous. Here's the queen right here, and you can see she's doing very well. This colony is also doing just as good as the wheelary. This species is much smaller, but you can see they're also full of nectar, so they are also foraging too. I also have some sad news for my Pogonama mix Ragusos harvester ants. The queen suddenly died one day, and I had to remove her worker and add another queen that I had. And I don't know if she's fertile, but we'll have to see. Another worker has hatched since then, and it's just gonna be a waiting game, but I don't have high hopes. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of California Ant Keeper.